James Kaufman, World News Report, today, October 25th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, JPL, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, has just announced two inbound space rocks. We'll go over the first one, inbound for tomorrow, October 26th, 2024. That rock is 2024 UN2. This is a big near-Earth object, a big space rock. It's about 70 feet plus in diameter. It's moving at about 10.5 kilometers per second. You can see it's at a pretty good inclination coming up from the south. And again, it will make its close approach to Earth going in between the moon and Earth, hopefully, at some point tomorrow on the 26th. Now, this space rock or near-Earth object, 2024 UN2, is supposed to be just a bit closer to the moon than Earth as it flies between the two. Again, that would be tomorrow, although it looks like it's just about on top of Earth here, as you can see. Now, again, this is a good-sized space rock, probably 70-plus feet in diameter. So, if it does come into Earth's atmosphere, this could be a problem. Taking a look at the orbit parameters, you can see the solution date was today, the 25th. They've just released this information. They said they spotted it first on the 23rd here. They've been looking at it for two days and only seen it 26 times, 26 observations. Of course, it was found by our automatic AI software here. And the condition code is, well, not as high as it usually is. It's six. Zero meaning they know exactly where the rock is headed. Nine being they really have no idea. Of course, six is much closer to nine than zero. But uh, I just don't think that this is going to be a close enough call to worry about. Let's take a look at the actual close approach data so we can see what we're talking about here. Now, amazingly, with such few observations over a two-day period, they've been able to extrapolate five pages of past and future flybys here. I'm going to jump up to October 26th tomorrow. We can see that this is really going to fly directly between the Earth and Moon. It'll be closest to Earth right around 1 a.m., tomorrow morning so we could look at that as tonight or really tomorrow morning at 1 a.m. on the 26th and you can see by the distances here they're extremely similar the moon's about 222,000 miles away so this rock's going to be about 110,000 miles away from the center of earth so uh, it doesn't look like it should be a problem with a condition code of six, but I want to bring it to your attention because it is a large rock and it will be flying directly between the Earth and Moon at about 1 a.m., uh, in between 1 a.m. and 2 a.m. tomorrow morning. Now, again, that's 2024 UN10 inbound to fly directly between the Moon and Earth at about 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. tomorrow morning. Now, remember, they think it's just over 70 feet in diameter. It's moving at about 10.5 kilometers per second, according to their information. And it does have quite an inclination coming in from the south. With that said, God bless. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.